يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون اياما معدودات فمن كان منكم مريضا او على سفر فعده من ايام اخر وعلى الذين يطيقونه فديه طعام مسكين فمن تطوع خيرا فهو خير له وان تصوموا خير لكم ان كنتم تعلمون Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh MTG Nation What's happening man? Welcome back to the channel Welcome to another video Hope you're doing well Guys today I want to talk to you about Ramadan Alhamdulillah It's just a few weeks away And uh, I'm going to be honest with you man I am guilty of allowing business to consume me during the month of Ramadan And I don't really make the most of it like I should So this year I'm going to share with you exactly what I'm using in terms of strategies, mindset, and my personal goals for Ramadan. Inshallah, listen up, because this could just change your life. Dude, subhanAllah, can you believe that Ramadan is literally like three weeks away? Hello, Akbar, dude, isn't that crazy? Like, it really feels like Ramadan was just like, just a couple months ago, man. But like I just mentioned, dude, I've been in this grind and hustle mode for so many years that it's really hard for me to actually like take a step back and focus on Ramadan, man. And I'm really guilty of that. So today I'm gonna to share with you, you know, again, just some tactics and mindset shifts, some things I'm gonna to do to ensure that bin Allah, by the permission of Allah, this Ramadan is gonna be my best Ramadan ever. All right, now, the book that I've been reading to get my mind right for Ramadan is a book called Essentialism, The Disciplined Pursuit of Less. Now, the reason why I chose this book specifically is because, man, like I said, I've been in that grind and hustle mode for so long and I try to get so much accomplished in the day that I wind up spreading myself thin. And maybe you can relate, right? Maybe you're trying to balance so many different things, juggle so many different things, you're spread thin. Uh, it just leads to chaos, man. It just leads to chaos and anxiety. And when it comes time for Ramadan, because I've been in that grind and hustle mode for so long, it's really hard for me to focus and to uh, feel like I can let go of certain things business-wise or uh, fitness-wise or this, that, and the other in order to focus on Ramadan. And so what I'm doing is what the author of this book, Essentialism, says. He says to choose the vital few and eliminate the trivial many. And essentially what that means is, he's saying that you need to be very, very selective. Ooh, that's bright, subhanAllah. Very, very selective with the things that matter most. And that there are gonna be trade-offs, there's gonna be sacrifices, and you have to accept that as a reality of life and be okay with that. So I've decided to choose five simple things. They're not gonna be easy, but they'll be simple inshallah. Five simple things that I want to accomplish this Ramadan that's gonna make my Ramadan the best ever and I suggest you do the same. Now, the first question that I ask myself is, what would I be proud to accomplish this Ramadan? That's the very first question that I ask myself. And I'm restricting myself again, to five critical tasks. That's something that, by the permission of Allah, I, I can accomplish on a daily basis, inshallah. So ask yourself the question, what is something that you, you will be proud of, that if Allah gave you tawfiq, you were to see Ramadan, you were to complete Ramadan, and you were able to complete five things in Ramadan, what would they be? Now for me, obviously the first one is Quran. I want to complete the entire Quran, in Arabic, Bidnillah, by the permission of Allah. Number two is I want to complete Zad al Nad uh, by Ibn al Qayyim, Rahim Allah, because I want to study the seer of our beloved Prophet Islam, and incorporate more of the Sunnah into my life. Number three is I want to hold an iftar, I want to host an iftar, and do a live stream so that you can meet some of the other Reverb brothers. In fact, why don't we call some of them now? Message form six one. Salam alaikum, uh, Hey, dude, hit me back when you got a chance, okay? I want to talk to you for a second. Love you, brother. Salam alaikum. Bro number two. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. Dang, voice you gonna do me like that, bro? <laughs> you gonna do me like that, subhanAllah. Brother number three, let's see if we can get someone to answer, inshallah. Bismillah. 
Hey, Walaikum Salam Aki. Oh snap, I called the wrong brother. Hey, no one want to answer your phone except the, the brother I wasn't trying to contact. Hello, <laughs> Akbar. We got another one. We got a live one. Salam Aleikum Aki. What's up, bro? Hey man, uh, quick question for you. Does that work for you? If there's gonna be food, I'm gonna be there. Is it gonna be food? <laughs> nah, bro. I, I was, I was, it was it, the only way to attend is you gotta BYOF, bring your own food, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Dude, you know I'm Italian, you know I'm Italian, right? I, I might make my this chicken casserole my mom's happy, bro. Oh, snap. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> Like, so what I did is I put like chicken, I put uh, Hold on, hold on, is this a secret recipe? Cause I'm actually, I'm actually filming this for Monday's video. So yeah. I, I just need to make sure that this isn't like a secret recipe or nothing. No, man, this is something everybody gotta know. So what it All is, right, cool, it's cool. like, it's chicken, broccoli, then it's got like cheese and like cream oh, soup in there. Dude. Oh my gosh, bro. And like you put like a, like a pound of cheese on top. <laughs> Yeah. You do realize I'm from Wisconsin, man. You know, technically I am a cheese head. Yeah. You know, cheese. like, like if they were to ask, you know, like, are you, um, you know, are you white? Are you Native American? Are you Latino? If they had an option for cheese head, I'd probably check that one before I check the white, the white version. You know. <laughs> All right, bro. I appreciate you, man. I gotta get back okay. to this video, inshallah. Okay, brother. Right, I appreciate you, man. Welcome, to Islam, Matthew. Alhamdulillah guys, so yeah, number three is I want to get the brothers together, Alhamdulillah. Number four is I want to sponsor 10 orphans, inshallah. Oh yeah guys, number five is I want to pray to Hedrid every single night, inshallah. Now the reason why I'm here at my laptop is because once you ask yourself, what would I love to accomplish? What would I be proud of to accomplish at the end of Ramadan? Next you have to ask yourself, what do I need to do? Who do I need to talk to? And what do I need to sacrifice? Now, when I ask myself, what do I need to do in order to ensure that I hit this goal of sponsoring 30 orphans, which is gonna cost about, about $900. Now, alhamdulillah, I could come with that money, but I also thought to myself, well, dude, Ramadan is the month of deeds being multiplied, man. So why would I just take all the good deeds for myself? That's kind of greedy. So what I decided to do, is I decided to create a discount code specifically for this goal. So if you hit the first link down in the description below, it's going to take you to our merchandise website, Alhamdulillah, and it will show me that you want the profits of that sale to go towards this goal. So you can either hit that first link down in the description below, or you can go to alwaysmtg.com forward slash discount forward slash orphan. Again, when I see that discount, I'm going to know, okay, they want me to take this, these profits and apply it to the goal of sponsoring 30 orphans. So what are you waiting for, dude? Let's get these good deeds. Let's take care of orphans. And let's be like this with the Prophet Salaam, the Salam, by the permission of Allah. Hit that first link, bro. What are you waiting for? So again, you have to ask yourself, who do I need to talk to? What do I need to do? And what do I need to potentially sacrifice in order to ensure, man, that I'm hitting these goals for Ramadan. That I'm making Ramadan the best year ever, dude. Inshallah, the best year ever. No, the best month ever of your life, inshallah. So, as you seen me earlier, I was calling up the brothers. I was hitting them up. Hey, man, if I want to host an iftar dinner, I need to get the people involved, man. I need to call them up. So, I hit up the brothers. I'm also going to talk to my wife, inshallah, and say, Hey, babe, 21st of April, inshallah, I want to have iftar with the brothers. So, you know, we need to get the, uh, the house ready, get the food ready, Get decorations ready if we need to because you know women like to decorate so those are the things that I need to do in order to prepare and ensure that I actually achieve this goal for Ramadan inshallah so ask yourself the question what do you need to do in order to be as prepared as possible to freaking crush Ramadan this year inshallah now once you do that again you have to ask yourself just to summarize this video what would I be most proud of if I accomplished in Ramadan and again, guys, limit it to like five things, man. Select the vital few and forget the trivial many, right? There's so many things that you could do, but what are the things that you would be the most proud of if you actually achieve that in Ramadan, inshallah? Again, ask yourself, well, who do I need to talk to? What do I need to sacrifice? What do I need to do to ensure that I hit these goals? And once you do those things, inshallah, I'm promising you, man, by the permission of Allah, dude, this is going to be the best 
Ramadan of your life, inshallah. And that is how your boy is getting prepared for Ramadan. I was really afraid that I was gonna sit on this target and just keep going backwards, bro. Alhamdulillah. So, dude, I would love to hear what your five, top five goals are for this Ramadan. Be sure to comment those down below because I really want to support you uh, in that mission of yours, in that pursuit of the best Ramadan of your life by the permission of Allah. And if you got value from today's video, man, drop your boy a like down below because it truly does help the channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I'm dropping two new videos every single week, every Monday and every Thursday, plus two new live streams on all things mindset, marriage, and the Muslim struggle. And you don't want to miss it, inshallah. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you so much. Again, don't forget, hit that first link down in the description below. Let's sponsor 30 orphans this Ramadan and try to be that much closer to the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you, MTG Nation. Thank you for all of your support. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I really appreciate you. Stop worrying about yesterday, dude. Stop fearing tomorrow. Make today great, and I'll see you in that next one. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Dear Dad, I still remember like it was yesterday when I found out the man I considered to be my father in reality wasn't. My mother simply turned to me and said,